believe that 20 seconds. So we are going to X out to Dina on camera eight, Lee on camera five, Mike seven, Mike nine. Um, kill X audio, please. Please. In three, two, take a coffee. That's what it's all about. Yeah, they're both open. Oh. Take. Fuck. And advance. Ready, clean in preview. And take. Ready, A with. A with. Awesome. Take. We're going to come back to the two box. Amy has the first read, and then we're going to come out to remote five and Robin. Robin, you're the second element. Flat to pump plus pasta. Has a smaller Shit. carbon footprint and cooks faster than traditional noodles. Dana, you're a professional. For years, Take. I talk while you're talking, and you still do a fantastic job. Well, I had to get the people this important information. Good job. Good job. <laughs> uh, it is 11 o'clock. Stand by. Be with Mike three. Let's go. Stars. Take. Go, Amy. An unholy act. Stand by, you're next. Right now, Westland police are asking for help as they work to arrest a man Remote five is next. trying to set fire at a local church. Details Take. coming up. Take a dance. Go. Good morning, Amy. Ryan is next. We're going to X to C with. Dead in what police describe as a murder suicide, how they found out about the situation and what neighbors are saying in a live report. Good morning, Ryan. Take a dance. Good morning, Clear. Robin. There are breaking developments right now. Involving Two boxes next and open. We will X to it. What we're learning about new Here comes the open. Men are now Take. Working for you. Fox 2 News Live at 11. Burn out, burn out, burn out. Good morning, and thanks for being We're going to X to SS1 with Ryan O'Reilly. Ryan O'Reilly, we begin with good news involving a situation we've been following oh, nice. all morning. Take. Detroit police telling Fox 2 a short time ago, a little boy reported... Oh, yay, good way to start the show, Scott, with some good news. That's great. Two-year-old Jordan Lewis was reportedly taken from a home in the area of Evergreen and Plymouth. Two boxes next. Can we mix to it, please? Thank you. That person then gave the boy to another person who drove away in a silver Chevy Malibu. Again, Fox 2 learning a short time ago that That's Detroit awesome. police now say the little boy has been found Two box. and is safe. Take. Stand by. Police make a Remote 5 is next. We're going to X to it. Ryan, now they're investigating an apparent murder-suicide. Fox 2's Robin Murdoch take. has been following this all morning long and joins us now with the latest. Good morning, Robin. And take. Their mics are closed. Good morning, Amy and Ryan. Advance. Is such a sad, sad D, story. sound full. We'll be next. A couple different neighbors out at the scene earlier this morning, and they had the kindest um, things to say about the couple. They never imagined something like this would happen in a We have two country. names, but no banner in between. Time processing it all. Take sound. Sound. Thank you. We have a neighbor. So and then Robin's and name. Man shot <laughs> so what I'm going to do argument, killing her, that eventually it turned to the gun on himself. Before doing that, though, we are told he called his son sure. to apologize. We saw the Stand by. Stars, um, you know, the, Advance. The and, stuff in the, and then... It's the exact same thing. Okay, in, stay there, then. Yep, I just gave you a third one. I just put another so banner in for you. Cool. On night after being so if we see this neighbor, we'll name her, and then I put in another banner. Mm. At least we started off on a good one. Is that the neighbor then? Oh yeah, advance. 
very kind people. We would never expect this from them. Advanced. She was a long-time doctor and nurse described She just seemed a like a professional, not a MOS. Oh, got you. Yeah. She, like, she just looked like a professional, not a man on the street. You know. have cleared, but the sadness remains. And Got about 10 seconds here. Can we mix out? Heartbroken. Yeah. I'm really heartbroken to see that. Great Stand by. And uh, I, I can't imagine what happened. And take, go. I heard so many different stories. And let's name her again. Why not? Advance. Couple was while I, was out I usually don't, but split is next. Camera three, remote five. Amy has a question. Over a bunch of apples over to him as a housewarming gift. That is just how considerate and kind this couple was. We are told that they had two adult children and six grandchildren. Mm -hmm. We are live in Shelby Township this morning. Robin Murdoch, Fox News. Take. Yeah, Robin, I just Stand by, right? For the children, for the grandchildren. I, when you think about Ryan that, will be after the this. Son, just so sad. Do you think that the police are going to have a little more information as time goes on about just maybe what transpired or, or why? Right. Punch. You know, I know that they were still uh, conducting an investigation Stand by your split. of what happened out at the scene this morning. It may be over, but uh, the investigation still continues regarding what led up to it, how this all happened. So, yeah, perhaps uh, later today, perhaps later in the week, week, we will get more details about exactly how this all transpired because it certainly has so many people shocked and stunned, and I can't even imagine what uh, the couple's children are doing. Split, punch. Ready, Ryan. Take. Clear. Thank you. SS1 is next. Take. We're going to X to A. Ryan will read the first story, and then we're going to change to Amy. That driver telling operators two vehicles were speeding down the northbound lodge near Wyoming. He says the passenger in what appeared to be a Dodge Charger fired at the other vehicle, and that's when he says uh, his car was hit. That driver was thankfully not hurt, and troopers say there were no other gunshot victims reported to hospitals in the area. If you have any information on this incident, state police would like to hear from you. Take. A 14-year-old boy is in custody this morning. Well, X to B next, and Amy will read. A school in Livonia. The student reportedly brought the weapon to Franklin High School on Wednesday. Hey, check out what I have. In bathroom. That's a principal said and a, the yeah. threaten anyone. The situation you don't was know quickly that's addressed right. by administrators and a school resource officer. They took care of it, though. No disruption mm -hmm. to the school day. Take advance, go Amy. And Ryan of Madison Heights team. Little Big Box is next with a camera three, SS1, and a VO. Police say they responded to the target on John R. just before noon. I already put a mix in. A a man with a handgun in the store. While inside, the 15-year-old allegedly pointed a gun at a Target employee. 15-year-old <laughs> pulled a gun on me. Oh, it's still. Still. No, they just said BB gun. Take. D, sound full, is next. This is a two-minute package. We can go with Randy. Church door on fire. Fox 2's Randy Wimbley has the surveillance video that could help track him down. Take sound. The pastor of this church is hoping the man in that video is identified uh, and arrested ASA. Drop. There is no so banner. No one else has to We're going to see the what pastor at 16. Take a good look at this guy as he attempts to uh, set fire at one mission church in Westland. This person can prepare his backpack with all the stuff in there. It happened Drop. around 11, 10 Monday Oh, now there's a the banner. The surveillance camera was rolling as Font. the fire bug poured what appears to be lighter fluid at the base of the door. Oh, that's this it. Cool. All right. Sparks the now, flame what do I have here? And runs oh. off. We could have possibly lost our church or all of that front, front foyer or anything could have burnt up. Pastor Antonio Wimberly is thankful that did not happen. Even so, he was stunned to find the charred aftermath a day later. Soot covered doors, a melted doorbell, the uh, heat from the fire cracked the glass panel. Westland PD now investigating and working to identify the man they're calling an arson suspect. One Mission Church questioning why the man went after them. We love our community, like that's like our motto, like be real, show that's love, like so sad. we show love to this community. So to see to see that in a community that we, you know, we There's serve. A 
It was disheartening. Pastor Wimberly says the church has since spent huh. nearly a thousand dollars replacing the glass panel in the doors and upgrading the security system. He and his son spent the past few days cleaning up the remnants of the fire. In the meantime, they're hoping the man who nearly burned down their church 15 cleans extra. up his act. We love to help them, love on them. Really, I don't hold no grudges. We forgive them. But like I said, he still need to holler at, at the West End Police. Oh, I see it. There it is. Was wrong. And what he did here, he could do again. All right, I had a weird else. code left over from an earlier show. I was like, where is this? We're going to X to SS1 next. Ryan will read. Stand by. About the man in that video, please call Westland Police. I'm Randy Wimbley, Fox 2 News. Hey. Now to the latest on COVID-19 in Michigan. We're going to mix out to a little big box with Pod 2 SS1 and a VO. Virus. 92 of them identified during a record review. That puts the state's death toll over 18,000. 3,500 new confirmed cases were also added yesterday. On the vaccine front, no. nearly 51% of Michigan's eligible population has received at least one dose. Nearly Ready on cam? Are fully vaccinated. Take. There are several. VO with will be next. Get vaccinated in Metro Detroit today. FEMA is hosting a walking clinic at the Melvindale Senior Center. Take. It runs from um, nine until three. There you nine go. until nine three. three. There we Pfizer go. Shots. We're gonna X to B. Amy will read. There are two banners. Over. You don't have to be a Melvindale resident either to participate. Take advance. Ryan and Go, Amy. County, mass vaccination we continue. Stand by your CG. Tomorrow. Today's is at the United Wholesale Mortgage Sports Center. That's on South Boulevard in Pontiac. Tomorrow, another clinic advance. will be held at North Farmington High School on West 13. Camera 2 is Farmington next Mills. with developing Both in the mind. are open from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. and are open to everyone 16 and over. Take. Well, new we might want to hide our glasses just because they're so pretty. CVO with and take. Take. Says the governor flew on a private jet owned by a group of Michigan businessmen. The cost of the flight is and it's just because they're orange. Leduff also found the governor's trip happened before she was Sound is next. It was twice as long as she originally said. Four days. Oh, Leduff. Asked the governor refused to provide details. Sound take. Advance. Advance. We know. Take Q, Amy. Now, in a follow up statement, the governor's Teases office. Teases next. There will be sound. Then Ryan. Then Kevra. Her office reiterated that no taxpayer money was used to pay for the flight. Take advance. Stand by Ryan. Take advance. Orion. Also new this morning, female Stay on and by. will soon get a chance to hit the mat in their own tournament. What else were about this new event coming up? Take advance. Go. Day Pretty black. Ready, away. Bob. Will Mother Nature give us a gift <laughs> when it comes to the forecast? We'll break down your weekend after the break. And take black. Roll, Bob. That's an A block, ladies and gentlemen.